Welcome to the heart of Europe. Brussels is home to some of the best of my favorite things. Waffles, chocolates, beers and fries. Despite all of that, Brussels is more of a political hub than a tourist hotspot. So I'm going to be exploring Brussels for the next two days to find out if it's a destination worth visiting. Good morning guys and welcome to the beautiful city of Brussels. Right now I'm in the Grand Palace Square which is also the city center. Right now it's early in the morning and it's a Sunday so there's not many people. So I got to the city last evening and my first impressions of this place were just wow this place is vibe. Music everywhere, people walking all over the streets having fun food and restaurants so I'm gonna try my best in this video to capture that essence. So this here is the Grand Palace and it's surrounded by all these houses they call guild houses and then that there is the town hall and all of it has been designed in this beautiful gothic architecture. What really stands out to me is how these guild houses have these gold inlays. It's really unique. Uh, it's freezing oh my gosh. It is extremely cold outside and I didn't realize this when coming to Europe. Like if I would come to Belgium, I would need a jacket. So I only packed one jacket and then I had to buy a thermal. So anyways, right next to the Grand Palace, I've just walked into this uh, cute little cafe called Woodpecker 47 and there was a line outside. So I had to stand in that line and wait for it. And one thing that I've realized in Europe is wherever there's a line outside a restaurant, that means it's good. I just ordered a cappuccino and bacon with pancakes. It looks so good. 11 euros for an amazing pancake with bacon. Wow, actually I think those are some of the best pancakes I've ever had. The cappuccino, decent, but I'm so satisfied right now. All right, let's continue exploring this beautiful city. Oh God, I need to get onto one of those one of these days. One of these days. As a tourist, you'll find yourself a lot in the city center and I have to say it's quite charming. So it's full of all these really cool restaurants, shops and what I've noticed is that there's not that many cars or roads for that matter in the city center. It's more of like a place to just walk and stroll and I love how the streets are made with these beautiful tiles and cobblestones. And also something really cool that I've noticed is wherever there's a road and there's a crossing, the zebra crossings are actually painted with like different colors so they're colorful zebra crossings. I don't think that makes them zebra crossings though. More like crayon crossings. All over Brussels in shops, boutiques, hotels, wherever you name it, you'll see one very interesting statue which is that one right over there. That's the mannequin piss and it quite literally means boy taking a piss. <laughs> so it's not the grandest of grand fountains but it's not hard to see why it's such a popular tourist attraction. It's literally a small boy taking a piss in a fountain. <laughs> Watching that boy pee kind of makes me want to pee. And the funny thing is like if you want to use a washroom over here it will cost you 30 cents. Why is it that you have to pay for every single thing here in Europe? And it started raining. The crazy thing is I don't even feel bad about it. Like usually when you see Amsterdam, London, Brussels on TV, you see grey rainy days and I'm quite happy that I'm actually able to experience this part of the world in this way. It's quite nice actually. My hands right now, they're like freaking icicles. Ooh. So if you guys didn't know, Brussels is a city with the most comic book stores in the entire world. In fact, a very popular comic book, Tintin, originated from here. And so these comic book strips have made their way from books to freaking walls. So in Brussels, there's something called the comic book strip, which is about a three to four hour walk. Um, you can get the map from the tourist information center. It's like a euro and then you walk around the city discovering these different murals that have been put on walls and man, they look so freaking cool. So I'm not gonna spend three hours walking around to see the whole comic book strip, but before I head out for lunch, I'm gonna hunt down a few of them. Mm -hmm. 
this right here is mussels and fries. So this is Mouls Frites, one of the staples here in Belgium. And I found this spot over here which are selling that plus a beer for just 12 euros. I have never in my life ever had so many mussels. This is gonna be so much fun. That's the meat. It's fishy but I love it and man with like the best beer in the entire world, Belgian beer. Mm. I swear Europe is gonna make me so freaking fat. Oh, please lord, this is so good. If you have a small appetite, one plate could easily be enough for two people. And I didn't realize this, but at the bottom of the plate is this sort of like onion soup mixed with the mussels and it's just bursting with flavor. So good. So I've been using my mussels like a spoon. So basically like this, grab it. Oh, That's delightful. I feel like the weather permits this. So Belgian chocolate is like the best chocolate in the world. And so I've entered this random shop and you can smell like the chocolate everywhere. Chocolate, 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 chocolate. Oh my God, look at all of that chocolate. My mouth is watering right now. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I got a box of assorted chocolates for home and this for right now, it's a marshmallow inside chocolate. Mm. Look at that. Oh God, God bless my soul. Guys, it's drizzling, but the show must go on. I'm back at the Grand Square. You can smell waffles everywhere. The music, man, the vibes. It's so cool. They've got tables and chairs set up everywhere. There's food and beer stalls. And this event is actually free. So like it's the 2022 Jazz Weekend. And they've set up different like stages in different parts of the city where you can just come and watch and enjoy some jazz. Although it's raining, but that's not stopping. There's these guys from freaking enjoying themselves. Good morning guys and welcome to day two here in Brussels and luckily the weather seems to be clearing up. So here's a funny thing that I realized this morning. If I take my jacket and then like flip them, all of a sudden I have a completely different outfit. Wow. So my plan for today is to go to a place called Atomium Museum and it's like 30 minutes out of the city center. And here's the thing with Brussels, so like the metros and the buses are actually quite pricey. So if you want a one-way ticket, it's like 2 euros 80 cents, which is really expensive compared to like the other places that I've been to where I'll just pay up to like 1 euro 90 cents. By the way guys, this here is the view from my hostel. It's the Brussels Canal and what's really cool is that over there, there's graffiti all over the walls. When you come to the other side of the canal and look at the walls, there's these portraits of people wearing 3D glasses with their mouths wide open. <laughs> it's so hilarious. The train ride was a little longer than I anticipated, but I have finally made it to the Atomium and look at it. It's freaking massive. So this is basically the Eiffel Tower version of Brussels. Um, it was built during the same time during the World Trade Fair. It was supposed to be taken down 20 years later, but it attracted so many tourists, so they decided to leave it up. So basically what this structure is, think of an iron crystal magnified 165 billion times. It's basically that. I'll be honest with you guys, when I was approaching it from a distance, I was like, eh, nothing too impressive. But now that I'm like up close to it, whoa. That's impressive. So inside is a museum and you can go into all the different uh, spheres and through these tubes. And I've seen on uh, photos online that the tubes look super cool. It's a very exciting museum experience. Um, but for today, I don't have that much time. So I won't be going inside, but looking at it from the outside, super cool. back in the city center and something that I've been craving ever since I landed in Brussels is the waffles. Merci. 
So as well as awesome beer and fries, Belgium is also known for the best waffles. And I was recommended this place called Gallet. So what they do like different from everyone else who makes waffles is that they actually put like the chocolate inside the waffle and then they melt it inside. Oh, this looks so good. Mmm, that is so good. It's crunchy on the outside, like sticky and nice on the inside. That's amazing. You guys, it's time to go hard and heavy in the beer scene here in Brussels. Look at all of this. <laughs> so I'm at this place called Delirium, which was recommended to me and apparently they make some of the best craft beer over here. And I'm with some hostel mates. That right there is Brian and Albert. So a really cool story. They play music around the world on the streets. He plays violin and I play guitar and basically we're just hopping around um, big cities in Western Europe and playing music on the streets for a couple hours every day just to kind of make some money. So. Wow. So what, are you guys like funding yourself through the tips? That's, 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 the, that's, the, that's the ideal. That's the ideal. Okay, that's the ideal. We're, we're still... Okay, so somewhat. We're still we're, we're we're a bit of a gap. Yeah, uh -huh. a bit of a gap. <laughs> <laughs> but that's so cool. So this is a one meter long tray. It costs 25 euros and has 10 different flavors. So we're trying all the different flavors and some of them have this very like charcoal leaf flavor. Char char charcoal leaf. Char that's such a weird word to say. Um, and some of them have this really sweet flavor. So I prefer the sweet beers. They're so good. And then you have some flavors. The taste. Not so good. So this one actually like, you know the skin of a lychee? Kind of tastes like that. Guys, I am literally witnessing the beginning of a street performance right now. <laughs> it's so freaking cool. <laughs> Before I leave Brussels, I'm hitting up the final spot, which is the Royal Palace over here. It's so beautiful. This is where the king works every single day. He doesn't live here though. So before I end the video, the answer to the question that you guys have been waiting for, is Brussels a place worth visiting? And for me, I've really enjoyed my time here, especially in the city center. The art culture over here is amazing and the food, waffles, fritz, listening to the music, enjoying the vibe in general. It's been such a good time. So I highly recommend a trip here if it's a weekend or if it's just a two day long trip. You can have a really good time here. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.